Uh, this video is dedicated to um, Robin Andy, female Andy, but I know male Andy watches me, so. <laughs> um, and um, Ivy, just want to say thank you for being. Um, being like truly caring about me, checking on me and stuff. Uh, you do, you all pretty much know that um, in late summer, I uh, I wanted to leave Cora. <laughs> um, oh, and Paolo, Paolo, I think that's how you say it. That's how you spell it, but you all encourage me to stick around. And really, Cora has been very therapeutic for me in a way that um, it helps me live presently. But some answers, like recently, the last time I put my makeup on was for, for the video. I think it was two weeks ago. Or a week ago, I don't even know. Thank you, Buffy. Time, but um, sometimes those answers haunt me because a lot of what I write has to do with my ex-husband, and I don't always know how these how these um, answers are gonna fly around the internet. Um, and yesterday I woke up to uh, to somebody thanking me for that. We, that um what do you call that uh answer and then Cora sending me a notification that the answer was viewed one million times again I don't I don't really put too much thought into being watched but I don't know how it affects others and and um, my dog is nine years old and every time well he's going to be nine in august every time he completes a birthday i'm reminded how long i've been divorced and when i think of how long i was divorced i think of how long he's gone like literally gone seven years um, and I think particularly, uh, I think something hit me yesterday because I, I was watching somebody talk about how Will needs to divorce Jada Pinkett Smith because she's making mockery out of him. Uh, she... doesn't respect him, whatever. Uh, I don't know them, so I don't know to talk about them, but I guess what I see in them, in the story of them is that he was already married when they met and he basically didn't give himself, I guess, room to, uh, I don't know. I just, when I look at it, I, I realize that sometimes heartbreak makes you jump into another relationship. <laughs> That's definitely something I've kind of gotten better at. Ooh. Also, something about her being sad since, um, or it's still loving Tupac. That's why, that's why, that's why her relationship can't go on because she loves a dead man. <laughs> And that's, that's where I relate. But I don't. 
I appreciate the time I had with Lou. Um, I appreciate that he married me. And that's that was kind of like the answer that flew around Cora about his eye contact, about how the eyes, his eyes affected me, how he looked at me um, walking down the aisle. Uh, how he looked at me at divorce court, how he couldn't look at me a month before he died. I know that uh, he almost killed me. But um, but when he passed, um, the anger was buried, and so was sadness. And <laughs> never the love. So um, he would have always wanted me to be happy. Uh, and four years ago, uh, he sent someone to me right through my door. And I knew it was him. I remember I was crying over him. April 5th was his birthday and April 6th is when I met someone four years and I felt again. And he knows me more than anybody because I was able to be the me that I was. I let the me unfold. <laughs> and most people on Quora know a different side of me. Because in writing, I come alive when you take the time to read me. So thank you um, for your kind support. It means the world to me.